welcome back everybody so we are continuing with our discussion on uh, options and uh, related hedging strategies so now uh, we find that we have discussed just uh, in our last video the bull spread the concept called bull spread now we are going to discuss uh, the bear spread right so the bull spread was when uh, you you buy a uh, uh, a call and uh, you write a call uh, at a higher strike price right so this was your uh, bull spread so this is what we have seen you buy uh, a call call bull spread we have seen uh, put put bull spread we have seen now we are going to see the beer spread so what happens in a beer spread so beer spread is uh, beer spread is a uh, call calls or a put put strategy like earlier but earlier what we were doing uh, we were uh, you know buying a call at a lower strike price and writing a call at a higher strike price we could do reverse also so we are buying at a, a call at a higher strike price of 140 writing a call at a lower strike price of 135 and that also uh, uh, gives us kind of a protection right so uh, what we do here, uh, we see that the premium is 1.8 and 3.1 and uh, you receive 3.1 which is more than 1.8 so your net premium is positive which is 1.3. At a, a market price of 120, the long call option is not exercised, the short call option is also not exercised and what, whatever you gain is just a premium. Same is true for 125, same is true for 130, but at 140, the scene changes uh, because the short call uh, that you have written gets exercised and you have to shell out 5 rupees for that. And as a result, what you get is uh, uh, a negative return of 3.7, negative return of 3.7, right? So when you see the payoff graph of this particular beer spread, it, uh, it it kind of looks like this, right? It kind of look, it looks like this, okay? It can be uh, achieved by uh, uh, put, put option. Again, uh, uh, you know, buy a put at a higher strike price, sell a put at a lower strike price, and that the premium difference will be negative here, right? Because you get two and you have to shell out 3.7. So what you get is, uh, at market price of 120, your long put gets, you know, uh, exercised as well as your short put gets exercised because of the market price of 120, you bought a put 130, which gives you a right to sell your stock at 130, which you will exercise. Similarly, the put buyer uh, at 125 is also in the money because 125 is more than 120 and then he will also exercise. This is a net value from these two uh, positions and uh, uh, you subtract the premium that you uh, the, the loss on account of premium and you, you are gaining 3.3 you are gaining 3.3 at 125 on the similar in the similar manner. at 130 the scene changes a little because you are at the money you are not going to exercise your long put option you are out of the money and you are not going to exercise your short put option so only thing that remains is the net premium which is negative and which remain same for any uh, you know uh, stock price above it so what you find again is the same thing right so whether it is a call call or a or, or, or a um, put put uh, beer spread so what why it is called beer spread because you make profit when the stock price is on the lower side uh, right so if you are bearish then you uh, you know uh, use beer spread and in case of bull spread we saw something like this right so uh, there you expect markets to go up this is a payoff graph of this particular uh, bearish uh, uh, strategy beer puts uh, spread now um, combination let us talk about combinations so combinations means earlier what we have seen whether it was a beer spread or a bull spread what we have seen is that it is either uh, you know call call or put put kind of a combination here uh, here combination is a technical term actually which we use only for call and put kind of uh, 
you know uh, mixtures so we can buy a combination we can sell a combination right so and we can buy a straddle and we can sell a straddle we can buy a strip we can sell a strip we can we can buy a strangle we can sell a strangle so what is a straddle what is a strip what is a strangle we'll, we'll just see now so coming to the long straddle long strand straddle uh, means your strike price of both your call and put options is same expiry date is also same and you get a, a payoff uh, like uh, the one that we see here that we see here right okay a v-shaped one so this is for coal india stock right and uh, let me see if we have the uh, okay the table is missing here we'll we'll put it later okay um, but but you can see it's a v-shaped uh, straddle so what happens in v-shaped straddle so this is my what i've done here is actually i have uh, you know uh, i have i have bought up a, a call option at 135 and and also a put option at 135 right so uh, what happens is that at at uh, 135 minus 9.5 at 135 plus 9.5 there's an intersection point out here right so beyond this so this is a region of profit and this is a region of loss right so i don't want to incur loss i want to incur profit so i will choose a highly v for volatile right so v shape means v for volatile okay and the long straddle as you can see out here so uh, both a call and put option with the same strike price. So we have we we bought a, a long a long call and we bought a long put in in, a, in case of a long straddle. Now uh, we make profits when market price moves by at least nine point five uh, on either side. And how do you find this intersection point? So this is this is quite easy. So strike price plus minus the total premium. So Whatever is the strike price, 135 is the strike price plus minus the total premium, which is 9.5 out here. Okay. Um, so uh, we could have done opposite also, right? So we have bought, uh, we have made a long position in, in a, you know, in a put, call and long position in a put. We could have made a short position. That means we could have written a call and written a, a, a written a. a put also and in that case it will become negative inverted v right but in case of inverted v as you see the profit is only here so you will seek a stable stock right if the volatility volatility is high chances are that the stock may move in these two directions and this is a loss territory right now uh, other things that can be done are strip strap and strangle what do you do in a in a in a long strangle you do an out of the money uh, call and you buy an out of the money put and it, it kind of becomes a, a, a bathtub shaped, uh, a U shaped, you know, a payoff graph. Again, good for high volatile uh, stocks, high volatile stocks, right? Okay. Instead of short selling, we can do something called protected put, right? What is a protected put? So you're long on stock and you're so you, if you remember, we have done a video on something called uh, short sell um, and out of the box, out of the box strategy, right? So there we do long on stock and, uh, and that's how we protect ourselves. But here, what we are doing, we are buying a... a, a, a uh, we, we are buying a put option out here, right? So what happens in this is something like this. So this is my long stock position. This is because of my long stock. The share price, uh, if it is 25, I bought it at 25. So no profit, 45. I make a profit for 100 sh uh, on 100 shares of 2000. And I make a profit of, uh, you know, uh, 4,000, as the price moves up, you see that, that I, I keep on increasing my profit as, as you can see from uh, stock only graph out here, right? But uh, what happens with if I buy that put at a strike price of 75, right? So uh, at a strike price of 75, so what happens is that uh, uh, this is a net payoff table, right? At a, at, at a different stock prices. So as the stock price moves up, 
uh, in a put option i start making losses and 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 i add this uh, this value to uh, this value and i get this i add this value to this value and i get this right so you see that uh, at a higher stock price though i am making a loss here because of my long position here i am making higher profit right so on the lower side of the market price you gain less than with the short selling uh, uh, against the box strategy but at a higher stock price higher stock price uh, upside potential is is not lost you are able to preserve the upside potential which was a problem with the strategy called short selling against the box okay now you assume that the market price is 75 and we expect that this price uh, today which is say 75 which is 75 may come down right and if only 5% of the decline is expected, so that means 3.75 is a decline expected, will we be buying the protective put? No, because in this case, my premium is 5. So as my premium is more than the expected decline in the price, then this strategy is, is not good uh, for hedging. So uh, what happens in a protective or a more merit put is that payoffs are better at the upside and if you spend money, you can get something better or more payoffs, right? So if you are willing to spend money on premium, if you are willing to pay more premium, then upside potential is maintained, right? Now, what hedging means, the definition of hedging is combining transactions to so, uh, combining transactions so as to, so as to try to achieve a position of uh, reduced risk. If you want protection, but you don't want to spend on protective put also, then you can go for equity collar. What do you do? You buy some options, sell some options, right? So you write OTM put, you write OTM call, and your payoff uh, is something like this. So, uh, but but then these payoffs are inferior to what you what you will get on a put uh, protective put option, right? So, but you do not have to spend as much also. You do not have to spend. Uh, you know, uh, uh, on that protective put, so the premiums adjust against each other, and you are still able to, you know, uh, kind of, uh, you know, uh, protect, uh, limit your losses, right? Okay, if you want protection, if you want protection, but you don't want to spend at all zero money, you do not want to do anything, and then in that case, you go on, a, you don't want to spend on premium at all. Right, so you go long one stock and write one call. So you will get some premium instead. You you earn instead of paying to protect yourself, you earn here. You get some premium. So you go long one stock and then write a call. It is called covered call uh, option strategy. So what happens in case of a covered call strategy? Uh, you know, uh, this is your strike price. So your upside potential gets limited. Upside potential gets limited. Okay, but then uh, your um, ma maximum, you know, loss is also limited because this is the way uh, the stock price can go zero at the most and then this is how the maximum loss can be. Okay, uh, so this was uh, covered calls. So let me uh, uh, repeat it again. So what we are doing in this particular case out here is in case of a protected put or a married put so we are doing a we are going long on stock and we are buying a put option right if you don't don't want to do that you another option for you is equity caller or a protective caller where, where you are doing a, a, a buying an out of the money put and out of the money call right if you instead want nothing but your payoffs become inferior in this case your upside potentials get limited it, it's a strategy called cover call Okay, so uh, we have seen bull spread, bear spread, uh, strangle the long, strangle the V-shaped position also. I hope you like the videos and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.